Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today we are going to do a comparison test between the newly released uh, Samsung Game Driver. So Samsung recently released this uh, promising better gaming performance and they actually have a two version, one for Adreno with, which is for the Qualcomm devices and the one for Mali which is for Exynos devices. As you can see here I have a Galaxy Z Fold 2 which uh, has the Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is the Qualcomm, right? So I'll be using this uh, Samsung game driver for Arduino, uh, Adreno. And uh, if you look at the descriptions, uh, it specifically mentions three games, Black Desert, Fortnite, Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, for Fortnite, uh, it's not easy to record FPS. For Black Desert, I think it's not really that popular. So I'll, today I'll choose Call of Duty Mobile to test. I'll run the game <clears throat> before installing the driver and record the FPS and perhaps power consumption as well. And uh, I will install the driver and then run the game again to compare them side by side to see whether this game driver actually does some improvement or is purely a gimmick. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've already entered the game. This is my first run without installing the game driver. Of course, we'll keep the graphics all to maximum because this is an 865 plus device. You expect it to do well, right? Uh, everything on and very high max, right? We'll actually go and play the Battle Royale and uh, a la carte uh our car charts map right i see I, I think this map is slightly more demanding than the classic map so we'll be playing this and let's start okay so after the first test without the driver <clears throat> now let's install the Samsung game driver. <clears throat> of course, uh, I've put the device aside for a, a few minutes for it to completely cool down. Now it's not warm to the touch anymore. Okay, so to make sure that the comparisons are fair. See, as you can see, we installed the driver and we'll actually run the game again, right? So Call of Duty, all right. And here we are again in the game just to show you the graphics settings to make sure that we didn't tamper with the settings. Uh, all the settings are still the same. We set them to highest possible. And uh, let's start another round of Battle Royale. Okay, now we've finished all the tests. I'll actually put the recording of both tests side by side for you to take a look, right? And also I'll display the real-time FPS info on top of each recording. Now, at the beginning, both are able to maintain a stable 60 FPS, which means the Snapdragon 865 Plus is still a very capable flagship SoC. And uh, there isn't much to see here. We'll fast forward to about uh, three to four minutes. Now, after three to four minutes of gameplay, they both start to throttle a little bit. And you see the FPS is not stable at 60 anymore. It's, there are some FPS drops but uh, nothing too bad, right? And uh, I can't really tell which is better because it, it seems they are very similar here. Now let's fast forward to the end of the 10 minutes game gameplay.
Now we are at about nine minutes, eight, nine minutes. And uh, you can see that uh, if you pay close attention, you can see that the performance with game driver is actually a little bit more stable. Um, although they are both uh, dropping frames to as low as 54, 55 FPS, but you can actually see that with game driver, the game has a little bit less stutters and the average FPS, FPS seems to be a little bit higher. Now I will show you about two minutes of gameplay uh, at the normal speed and uh, you can actually try to take a look and uh, feel it yourself. But of course, if you are bored with this, you can just fast forward to the result at the end of the video, all right? Here is the FPS record, and as you may expect it, they are pretty similar. The performance with game driver is marginally better than the performance without. So the difference in, F in FPS is about 0 0.9 FPS here only. But if you look at the frame rate stability, the variant, the one with game driver is more stable than that's quite a big difference and to be honest i can feel it during the gameplay um, the gameplay with the game driver does feel more stable with less starters and it's actually very interesting if we look at the power consumption here the despite having a slightly higher fps the game driver actually manages to reduce the power consumption by almost six percent and this actually makes a slight difference in the gaming experience because I can definitely feel that the device heats up a little bit less with the game driver. And I think that might also contribute to the higher FPS because if you heat up less, you use less power, you throttle less and the performance is more stable. And of course, with the same battery capacity but lower power consumption, you can expect the battery to last a little bit longer as well. Okay, that wraps up our test today. And uh, we can conclude that at least in Call of Duty mobile game, the game driver does improve the power consumption and performance by a little bit. Of course, it's not day and night difference as you can expect. But I mean, uh, it's just a driver. It's for free, right? What else can you expect? Any improvement is welcome. And we really hope that Samsung can <coughs> expand the support of this game driver to more games like uh, Genshin Impact or PUBG Mobile. And if Samsung does update this driver, I'll definitely test it again. And so subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos. Bye.